uh, I have to start that over. Okay, so welcome to another Strelok C++ tutorial. We're gonna do inheritance. It's one of the more fun things, maybe. I don't know. I hope you like it. So, uh, back to classes. Uh, let Using what we learned about classes before, you know that there are two types, well, there are two types of classes general classes and specific classes. So general classes are uh, I don't know animal an animal is a general class an object is a general class anything you can think of that's like many of there's many animals many objects many that's pretty much although even though there's many uh, blue markers that's a more specific class because a blue marker you can't get down uh, too much further so you can yeah you can't divide that object into more parts so an animal you can divide into uh, humans monkeys baboons well that's a subclass of monkeys baboons chimpanzees gorillas whatever so basically uh, inheritance means that if a uh, more specific class is inherited from a more general class. It gets all of the uh, private, uh, no, all of the public and protected members of that class, and all of the f uh, methods too. So let's make a class <gasps> animal, and it's going to be a general class. And let's uh, here is our oh sorry, here is the opening brace and. Uh, Let's make some private members. Private are just actually. Let's make some protect protected members. That's a new keyword for you, right? Protected. Protected means that only this class and any classes that are inherited from it will be able to access that information. So protected. Uh, what does an animal have? Uh, feet. Int feet. How many feet does it have? So integer feed. Uh, well, let's keep it simple for now. So uh, what else does any animal have? It has um, uh, I don't know. It has uh, string name. So or well, the amount of feed it has. Uh, how uh, let's say category or string well let's just keep it at in feet whatever the amount of feet that an animal has so uh, in the public members uh, we must declare a constructor so we'll declare animal int feet so our constructor is fa fairly simple, right? Uh, we have uh, animal feet equals feet. That's that's it. So the amount of we just declared, and now let's declare a deconstructor also. Animal. Uh, by default, let's set the feet to two. So just so uh, here's our deconstructor. Okay, so we're going and uh, say void move, and this is going to be a function of method of the class void move, and it's going to do it's going to see out animal moved five steps or a step, and going to see out an undel. That's it. That's going to be our move. And uh, that's it. So void move. And uh, now let's declare a class. So class dog, right? And uh, to declare inheritance, we just put one semicolon here. And we say animal. So dog is in her uh, dog inherits all the traits of animals, and uh, so it her it her inherits the number of feet. It um, inherits everything. 
So what are what are uh, so we can have uh, private. We can have the private members of this class. So what what are private to a dog? So string. Let's say string breed. And in public, uh, sorry, in public, let's make uh, the constructor public. So dog. And it takes uh, it takes the breed so string breed and uh, int feet so again do uh, dog breed equals breed dog feet equals feet now I didn't redeclare really feed there because it inherited them from the its parent, right? So the dog deconstructor is simple, and uh, void. Let's make the me a method bark. So see out dog barks, and then and um, let's make another method void move. So, um, or let, let's not do that for now. That's that's virtual functions, and we'll get into that later. Um, so we made another class called dog, which we inherited from animal. So now let's declare our main function, and let's call uh, dog. Here we have to uh, declare I include iostream uh, using namespace std. We're gonna work with classes. So um, let's declare a new instance of an animal. Animal, uh, my animal, and we just declare number of feet, so four. Um, animal, uh, let's use the class, the function move. Uh, dog, my dog, and let's. Um, let's declare the number we can just say uh, stallion um, and dog and here instead of saying oh sorry instead of saying uh, dog barks let's say oops let's say breed barks so dog bark oh my dog bark so this is the a very simple example of a program so a uh, system pause return zero and let's see if this works mm, whichever and it probably have at least one error uh, of course because we need to put a semicolon after the declaration of each class it was my bad uh, animal move uh, Sorry, this is my animal. Dog, my dog, stallion. Uh, so, string breed. Uh, let's see. Dog, my dog, stallion. Um, four. Mm, so now we have, see, we have animal moved a step and then stallion barks. But this is not a good explanation of inherita inheritance. So you'll have to wait till the next lesson to actually see, get into it. So ju we just declared the basics. Uh, and thank you for your attention and I hope you enjoy the lesson.